So now when it comes to working with a, a, another artist, do you prefer to be in a studio or you prefer them to send a record over? Studio. Always, always the best way. Why do you feel? I feel like I get the most out of the artist, whoever I'm working with. You know, I push them to the limit. I push myself. So how important is it being an artist and putting your ego aside and pride when you go in the studio and work with another artist or creator? Oh, that's easy. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no sense of getting in your feelings about it. Like, egos can easily be pushed to the side. So you feel like that's very important? That needs that needs to be done for great music to be made? Definitely. You might not like an artist, but hey, he make <laughs> he make hell of a music or he make hell of a moves. It could put you in the next mm. You understand what I'm saying? But you might feel some type of way, but y'all might make the best music together. You never know. So could you work with an artist that you really don't like their music? I have, I have done it in the past, and I still will do it. Could you work with an artist that, you know, bumped into them and you really don't like their energy or vibe, but they still want to create music with you? If I don't like your energy or vibe, me personally, I don't think that would be the best idea. So in the next five years, what do you see yourself? Gator Fresh, Applying Pressure LLC, in the next five years, what do you see yourself? Where you going to be at? Billboards. Straight like that? Billboards? Yeah. Billboards as, a, as in around the city or billboard as in top 100? I'm talking top 100. Applying pressure, how big that's going to be? Applying pressure, I see skyscrapers. You see yourself dropping an album? Um, what, with like a major label or something? Could happen. But I see the supply of pressure. This is this is an independent movement. So now you spoke on label, and then you just also said independent movement. So I'm guessing you're independent. Yeah, I'm independent. I just threw that out there. <laughs> so now we see grinds, and grinds are, are really different. You know, we got industry and label grinds, and we got street grinds with independent. Which road would you prefer to take? As of right now, I right say. Now. Streets, street grind. Got to get out here. Footwork is everything. You know, I've been trained for this. You know, I've been molded for this. <laughs> it's what I do. It's the coach. So I press. So now I gotta ask you, what's more important? You feel what could what could get your career further? Popularity on social media or actual popularity in the streets? In today's eyes, social media. Social media. So you as a person, Gator Fresh, the artist, in the streets? In the streets. For social media? Gator Fresh, in the streets, apply pressure in the streets. But social media can take you areas where the streets couldn't take you. So what could be, what could be, what should we be on the lookout for? Right now you need to be, uh, you need to be looking out for uh, Free Coke featuring Pope, Gator Fresh featuring Pope. You know, um, committed. That's the new single. That's that's the shit. Glass like glass like that. Committed. Be on the lookout for that. Bags and dreams, drop in July. You know, I know the date kind of out there. We'll be in tune for that. Bags and dreams. Any major features that we could be expecting coming up? Matter of fact, I thought I turned that phone off. He got a new song out. Young Crazy featuring Pope, bitch niggas. It's out right now? Damn right, it's out right now. Go so, get it on Spotify, iTunes, Title, whatever. 